A lot of times when we hold meetings, it's not possible for everybody who we would like to attend. Or maybe we want to save the meeting that we've had so that new hires can view it. So this is when the ability to record our meetings really comes in handy. I'm within my HR site rollout channel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new meeting just using the meet now feature. Click that again to get into this meeting. And now that it's rolling, what I can do in order to start recording and capturing a meeting is click more actions. And there it is right there. Start recording. So we see that it indicates it right here. I have my runtime for the meeting and this little red dot telling me that it is recording. Additionally, this banner appears up top because you really want to make sure that everybody in the meeting knows that they're being recorded and you might want to make an announcement. You may have internal policies on this to notify everybody that everything within this meeting is going to be recorded. So that's a helpful message to remind you of that. Now that it's running, we can also see a little bit more about that in the conversation. If you open that tab, it'll tell you the progress of it. Right now it says that the recording has started for this meeting. Anything that happens within this meeting is going to be captured in this recording. So if I start sharing this PowerPoint file at this point, it's going to be included in the recording. Uh, it's going to pick up on the audio. Anybody who's contributing and the conversations that happen within this meeting will all be a part of it. I'll stop presenting. In order to stop the recording, you just click more actions again and click stop recording and click that again. And now this tells me that recording has stopped and it is being saved, which is also updated within the chat. I'll close that window and hang up on this call and we'll see what happens from here. So because this was a meeting that I started within a channel, that's where the conversation surrounding it is going to happen. And that's also exactly where people are going to be able to access this recording. So we see that right now it's saving, it's being uploaded, and all of these meeting recordings will be saved in Microsoft Stream. And so that's where you can go to edit them. If you're the meeting uh, organizer, you can go in there and you can uh, adjust them if needed, you can trim them. And so that way they are set up in the way that you want them to be for the people who will have to view them. And this is gonna take a little while to save so we can't view it just yet, but up here I have another example of a meeting, a brief meeting that we ran and that we recorded. So you can just click on it. And this is gonna open up a pop-up window, which pulls from Microsoft Stream, and it will start to play that meeting. And we have a helpful introductory page here, which tells us that this meeting, where it took place within that channel, who recorded it, who it was organized by. And as we fast forward, we see that later on within this meeting, there was a sharing of a PowerPoint slide, and that, is contained within the meeting, all of the conversation is gonna be there too. If you click on the three dots here, more options, right next to the meeting, you can open it directly in Microsoft Stream to work on it, or you can share it right from here with other people who don't have access to this team and channel. So make use of this feature, record your meetings, and you'll be able to capture and share the content of them.